Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel and to a video you've all been asking for for a very long time. One of the most commonly asked questions I get across all of my social media is how do I fit all of my real hair under my wigs? Well, today I'm gonna show you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the wig I will be applying and wearing today. This is a gorgeous human hair wig that is split dyed orange and black for spooky season, of course. Though I will be wearing this all year round because Halloween is every day for me. <laughs> this is a custom human hair wig that I got from Shop Will Beauty. I'll leave his information down below. His human hair wigs are gorgeous and he will do custom colors, which I love because I love having more unique hair. The first step for me is always preparing my own hair to fit under the wig cap. Now, if you have less hair than me, this should be less of an issue for you. But if you also have long hair, just know it is possible to wear a wig. As you can see, I have very long hair. So what I like to do and what makes it easier for me is I just like to braid it. I just do a regular three strand braid and start at the base of my skull and go all the way until everything is braided. Bring it around front here so you can see what I'm doing. And really, this is nothing fancy. A three strand braid is the most basic of braids. And this is just to contain it and make sure that it will all fit easily and neatly under the wig cap. So first step is done. Next, you need to grab a wig cap. Now these come in different styles and colors. This is the color I usually go for because it's closest to my skin tone. And then you have HD cap wigs, which are very thin and see-through, kind of like pantyhose. And these are just to encase your hair so it doesn't pop out. This is another kind of wig cap, which is more like fishnet stockings. These are a lot more breathable. And if your wig has clips in it, like mine does, it's a lot easier for that to grab onto your hair and anchor the wig. And then last but not least are these types of wig caps. They're more of an opaque stocking. I'll show you the difference between that and the HD one. The HD is a lot more transparent, but these are my favorite kind of wig cap to use just because there's more material and it's a little more solid. That way, if I wanna blend or use makeup to kind of camouflage the wig cap into my hair, this takes makeup a lot better than the other two. Now, because I have so much hair and it's so long, I usually end up doubling my wig caps. I put on a fishnet and then this thicker type on top of that. But if you have less hair, you may only need one. So I put on my fishnet wig cap first and I'm going to remove my jewelry because that will inhibit my process. <laughs> I don't want my hair to get caught in that or my fishnet cap. Goodbye, cute Halloween jewelry, I'll see you later. Now there's a thicker part to the stocking cap. I usually want that to be in the front of my hairline just because if you have that in the front, it will stay in place a little more easily. So then I just stretch it over my head like so. And then I lift and tuck my braid and put it all the way inside of the cap and then just make sure all of the hair is contained like so. <laughs> if you look like a sexy lunch lady, you're doing it right. <laughs> so once all of my hair is contained in the back there, then I take my second more solid wig cap and then I stretch that over like so. And that's pretty much it. This is usually what I have going on under my wigs. Very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of what happens next depends on you. I tend to be very lazy when I wear my wigs. Now, sometimes I will take makeup that is similar to my skin tone, like a foundation or a concealer, and then paint wherever my part is gonna be on the wig. That just makes it look more natural and like it's actually coming out of your scalp. But most of the time, I don't feel like doing that because it's really messy and it takes a while to perfect it. So I got myself one of these. These are velvet fabric wig bands. They usually come in packs of two or three and they have different colors. They have black, brown, nude. And these are just like a headband. They have Velcro on them and they are stretchy. And how these work is that you put it over your head like a headband like so. And because it's velvet, the fabric acts like a grip. So when you put your wig on, it won't slip back. So I will demonstrate. I will put on the wig. This is just how I like to put on my wigs. I put them with the back first, and then I just pull it up over my wig grip. Then I adjust in the back as necessary. Just pull it all the way down so it's below that velvet band. And then I just adjust to bring the hairline down to where I want it. Now this wig is fresh out of the bag, so it still has the lace on it, which I haven't cut yet, but I'll show you that later. That's part of how you customize the wig. So I've zoomed you in so you can see a little better. So I just kind of grab and pull. And because that wig grip is similar to my skin tone, it's not bad. You'd have to look really, really closely to see where it ends, which is right there. But from far away, it just looks like my scalp. But that is my preferred way of wearing wigs, especially if I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like painting on all my foundation. 
And that is usually how I'm wearing my wigs in my videos, when I go out in public. And it's as simple as that. So that's one way that I wear my wigs, the very fast, lazy way. Now I'm gonna show you how I glue my wigs down so it really looks like they're my natural hair. So the first step of applying a wig or installing it as it's called is to cut off the lace. I don't know if you can see, the lace is very short on this. It's only about to here. You can see it a little bit better when my hand is underneath. But the lace is so you can customize your hairline and make it whatever shape fits your face best. Some people like to cut the lace before they put it on. Some people like to glue it and then cut the lace. It's really personal preference, but I usually cut the lace before I put it on my head to glue it. So what I do is I grab a pair of scissors, anything sharp, you could use eyebrow scissors, and I try to bring all of the hair back away from the lace so I don't accidentally cut the hair instead of the lace. And then I take a clip or a hairband and just secure all of the hair like that so it's not gonna come forward. And again, making sure all of the hair is away from the lace itself. I just start cutting like that in a zigzag motion. You do not want this to be a clear straight line because that will look very unnatural. And I find that holding the wig up like this really helps because gravity is already pulling it down for you. And you can cut it as close to the hairline as you would like, or you can leave some space. It really depends on you. And then you just continue doing that all along your hairline. So I don't know if you can see because this lace is very easy to see through. It's more of a zigzag shape instead of straight across. So now that the lace is cut, this is what the hairline is looking like. You can hardly even see the lace, but it is still there. Just a little tiny bit. But that's what we're gonna be gluing to our foreheads. Now to me, it looks like this part doesn't really need any makeup right now. It looks pretty good. But if you wanted to, you could take some concealer and just put it right there so it merges with whatever foundation you're wearing on your forehead. Or you could also put the concealer up here on the knots of the wig as well. But I'm kind of surprised by how good that looks just by itself. Cause the only thing I have under there is the wig cap. But in the event you did want to tint your lace, I use this. This is called Ebon Tinted Lace Spray. I found this in just a local beauty shop. You could probably find them online as well. And it's just makeup in a can. And I paid $10 for this at whatever beauty shop I was at. And I'll link everything that I use if you can get it on Amazon in my storefront, which will be down in the description box. And I am in the shade Light Beige, which I think is the lightest shade they make. This dries quickly, it's waterproof, and you literally just spray it on, wait for it to dry, and that's it. So if I needed to do makeup on a wig, this is what I use. Now I do wanna try one more thing before I glue this to my head. This is the Snatch Proof Wig Band from Shop Will Beauty. I've never tried this before. It's a silicone band. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> this has textured little nubs, which I'm assuming would act the same way as my velvet one. Kinda like it. I do wish it had like some kind of closure though instead of having to stretch it over my head. It's a lot easier to get on than I was expecting. There it is. Very glamorous. <laughs> Ooh, I can already feel it grabbing my wig. It's an interesting sensation. I feel like you can barely even see it too, which is kind of cool. Let's see, will it come off if I tug? Yes. <laughs> it does come off. Well, it's on top. <laughs> <laughs> this way it's staying. So now to glue down the wig, this is my absolute favorite product. There are wig glues out there, but I usually don't wear my wigs for longer than a day or two days. The got to be glued free spray is perfect because it will keep your wig on there if you do it properly, but you can also take it off at the end of the night and it won't be stuck to your head. So this is my go-to. I also have it in travel size. <laughs> this is really handy in case I'm out and about somewhere and I maybe did my wig a little too fast and my lace starts to lift. I literally just get this out of my purse, spray it, hold it down, I'm good to go. I usually spray this onto the wig cap just to make sure the wig cap itself doesn't fall back because if it does, then you can see my dark hair underneath and that ruins the illusion. And I usually just spray it right here. That's all you need. Now, if you want a longer holding spray or if you sweat a lot or if you're in humid conditions, I would do the entire hairline. But where I am in New York, that's all I need. And then you just wait for that to dry before moving on. And if you want this to dry faster, I'd highly recommend using a hair dryer on the cool setting. <laughs> then you put your wig back on and get it to where you want it to sit on your head like so. Now this is the final step before gluing it down, so make sure you like where it is. <laughs> All right, so once you have it approximately where you think you're gonna glue it down, 
then bring it back just a little bit so you can access this part of your forehead right here. Now I'm not wearing any foundation right now, but if you're wearing makeup or have anything on your skin, I would get some alcohol and wipe it off right where you're gonna be gluing the lace down because if you have makeup there, it will prevent it from sticking. So start with clean, fresh skin, no makeup, no foundation, no moisturizer, nothing. <laughs> and for this next step, you're gonna wanna have a tool. I don't know what this is called, but it has a brush on one end and a little comb on the other. And I just find this is really helpful for laying down my lace to make sure that it's all nice and flat. For gluing down the lace, I like to start in the center and then work my way out. So, just spray right here. We're gonna glue it down with got to be. It'll probably start running down your forehead, so just take your finger and spread it out evenly on either side of the center part. And if it runs down your head, don't worry, it's easy to wipe off with soap and water. And then you just wait for this part right here where all of the got to be is to get sticky. It's already getting pretty sticky. And again, if you're impatient, you can use your hair dryer on the cool setting to blast it and make sure it dries faster, but you don't wanna dry it all the way. You want it to be sticky so it grabs onto the lace itself. So now once it's sticky, you're gonna bring the lace forward to where you want it to stay and then just press down on your forehead where the glue is and make sure it gets all up in that lace. And that's where this tool comes in. I like to use the flat part of the back of this brush and just do this. And this just helps to make sure that the lace and the glue are getting acquainted with one another. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm pressing down like that and then doing that motion. So it kind of spreads out the hairspray or glue. And then it's stuck on there, as you can see. Now I wouldn't pull too hard because this is still a little tacky, but you would just repeat that process by going all the way around your hairline or wherever you feel like gluing it. And then once you finish gluing down the rest of your hairline like that, I like to take a hairband or a bandana. This is my preferred one. I fold it so it is wide like this and then I just make sure it's right around the hairline and then tie it in the back of my head. And this is to make sure that the lace and the glue are firmly stuck together and will not go anywhere. And if you want, you can also smooth down with some pressure over where you've put your glue. And then I usually finish getting ready, doing the rest of my makeup while this is sitting for maybe like 10 minutes. And then when I take it off, all good to go. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. <laughs> and then once you take off your headband, the lace will be glued to your head. <laughs> and I'll zoom you in for a closer look, tugging at it. Again, I wouldn't rip your hair out. This is just like a temporary hold. But I have found if you don't wanna carry got to be in your purse, this lash strip glue is also great for holding down lace if it pops up when you're out and about like at dinner. This is the strip lash adhesive with aloe in clear. This stuff is amazing. I use it for my eyelashes and also for my lace. Now, as you've probably already noticed, the only bad thing about using got to be is that it makes your head where it sticks a little shiny. So to remedy that, I just go in with some translucent powder. This one is from She Glam. And I take a little powder puff, go into the powder, and then I just lightly, whoop, lightly, <laughs> as I put a whole shit ton of powder on my face. <laughs> I lightly put some powder there so it takes away the shine. And then while we're there, because I am a little shiny, I'm just gonna put some on my nose and under my eyes as well. <laughs> now there is one last step that I do before I go out after gluing down my lace and making sure there's no shine, and that is to use a wax stick. Now I have a little mini one because I don't use it that often, but they do have full size ones on Amazon. So I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera, but I do have a few flyaway hairs that are sticking straight out. So to remedy that, I use a little wax stick. This is the one that I use. It's by Ebon, which is the same brand as the lace tint. I got this at that same beauty store. This was like $3, I think. And it's a little mini one and it smells like berries, which is stunning. But it's just a little stick of wax and you roll it up like so. And then wherever you have flyaways, you just kind of gently press it down, run it over your hair. Get these guys in the back here. There we go and then do that, and the flyaway's gone. It's magical, and I love this thing. I also love that it's travel size, so I can just put it in my purse and have it with me wherever I go. And once I do that, 
that is it. That's how I glue down my human hair wigs if I want to go to an event or even just out to dinner. And you can do this with synthetic wigs as well. It's not just human hair. Anything that has lace that you can glue down to your forehead, you can use this method. And I am not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I literally learned all of this off of YouTube, but this is the method that has worked best for me, and hopefully this helps some of you as well. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! This is the last step for me whenever I go out anywhere. I've already laid down my ass. <laughs> you can do this with synthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I bought. And that's it. That's how I glue down my human hair lace wigs. Human hair lace wigs. And if you want this to dry faster, I'd highly recommend using a hair gun. A hair gun? <laughs> Close enough. A hairspray. And if you want this to dry faster, I'd highly recommend using a... Why can't I think of the word? I keep wanting to say hair gun. <laughs> it's not a gun. These are obviously a lot more breathable. And if your clip has... And if your clip has wigs in it, yes. <laughs> and this is the wig... And this is the wig, and this is the wig. So that is everything I do to is yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that is using a wax stick to f to. F <laughs> <laughs> One of the most commonly asked questions on all of my social media is how I fit all of my regular, all of my regular, instead of my supernatural. <laughs> Testicles. <laughs> Uppity buppities.